bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. So this is me basically giving it up for the winter. We have our antifreeze. Oh, we got a, no water up here, so every time I start this thing or do anything with the motor, I have to haul water. so bad. But yeah, my little setup. I'm going to go... Last year what I did was I ran the motor, got the thermostat open, then hooked this funnel to the hose and ran the antifreeze down in it. Because of the work that I was doing on the heater, I'm going to go in there and look. Because like I said before, I had a busted hose that had gotten cut. And I changed that. That drained out a bunch of water. And the work I had done with the uh, heat exchanger, I'm not sure how much water is actually in the motor. And it's been sitting several months since then. So what I might do is just take some bolts loose and pour that in the engine without actually starting it today but I haven't been up here a month so I'm gonna get in there and see what we got that's a beautiful sound alright like I said I, I thought about because I had done the work already just taking out uh, a few of the fittings and dumping the antifreeze in there but I have all that stuff sealed pretty well and I don't want to go breaking seals and just to pour that stuff in so I'm just gonna leave those what I said I do I just ran the motor I hauled up some more water and uh, ran the motor now it's up to temperature the thermostat's gonna be open so what I'm gonna do is take my hose that I was running from the barrel I have it up there and I'm going to go up there and start the motor and dump the antifreeze in. So, I've got my funnel. I'm going to stick that in. And my antifreeze. We'll go ahead and make sure it's ready. We'll break the seal. We don't want to run this long without water. But for right now it should suck what's in the hose out. And then we'll go from there. Twenty dollars a gallon. I don't want to spill that stuff.
So now we've run all that through. And you can see it's coming out, so we should be good. All right, just one other little thing I wanted to go over. When I replaced this carburetor, which I haven't looked on the old one, but for a marine carburetor, you have to hook up this line that comes from the fuel pump. What that does is if the inside of the fuel pump busts, it pushes that up into the carburetor so that you know it's leaking and not just leak down into your bills, cause fumes and cause a huge fire. That's important to hook up. Before you tell me, I know that is not the Coast Guard certified line. I will get to that, but for right now, that's what I had. My thing was, I didn't know, because it was not on there when I bought the boat, I didn't know which port or where the line went. But it goes into the carburetor just above the fuel supply. And I waited till I started it up and ran it, and that is not a vacuum. All it does is dump that gas into the bowl of the carburetor so that it burns in there and not just fumes up inside the boat. So that's one thing I had missed before. I just had to, to, but not the time to get it done. But just wanted to go over that real quick. Hey, hope everybody's doing well out there. We're just after Thanksgiving and... Uh, yeah, I still haven't had a day off, but this is my I give up on the boat for this winter day. Um, didn't really have much of a choice. We've already had one freezing day. We're going to two 70 degree days and all of a sudden for the next couple of days we're going down in the 20s. So this was my last opportunity before the hard freezes to get up here and do this. Um, like I said, I still haven't had a day off this year and going like crazy, but I have a seasonal business and you got to get the money while it's there. I know I know this year has been rough on a lot of people and I hope things are getting better for you. Me, I'm thankful. I'm also tired and I'm also really beat down. I, I've been building every day, seven days a week since winter pretty much. I've had maybe half days off here and there. But yeah, it's it's taking its toll. So I had to come up here and go ahead and get it get it winterized. It, it, it would probably be okay, but that is a brand new expensive motor, so it was better off just to go ahead and do it. Um, now I'm getting into Christmas orders, and I'm still behind, so i got to get to those. This was a project that I wanted to do before I winterized the boat. Unfortunately, it just it's not possible. We're heading into the freezing, and I right now physically could not do this. Um, doing the same thing every day i make the same motions every day and my muscles and my arms are killing me i can't squeeze anything hard because i constantly squeeze the drill and the chop saw and everything even doing that hurts so i didn't want to try to get into this project i didn't want really, i don't really have time and i don't want to hurt myself doing this and not be able to finish the orders that i have out there like i said when you work at seasonal business you get the money while it's there no matter how bad it hurts because in a couple of months it's probably not going to be there and you'll have time to heal then but but yeah this situation with the alternator this boat has a brand new alternator on it it came with it i don't know anything about it more than likely with the way this previous owner did things it's probably just a 35 amp alter, uh, automotive alternator um there is a difference in marine alternators um the system with this alternator is different. A lot of uh, hot rods and some boats and stuff, they do use this one wire system. Basically what it is, is a one wire system, basically all you have to have is a battery hookup. You hook it directly to the battery. As it spins, it reaches a certain RPM, the internals just make it kick on. With the alternator that is installed on these boats, it has a 12 volt wire that ignites the alternator. So as soon as you turn on the accessories key, that 12 volt hits the alternator, so it'll charge as soon as it spins. With these, they will not charge until they hit a certain RPM and they kick on. The problem I have on this boat and the situations that I use it in, say you've been sitting in the marina for two days and now you need to charge your batteries. You reach over and you kick your boat on 
you're at idle. You're not, some of these need anywhere from 800 to 1200 RPMs before they kick on. If you're sitting in the marina and you kick on your thing and you're idling at 400 RPMs, you're not gonna kick the alternator on. That's the problem I have. There's no way to rev this boat without putting it in gear. So if you're sitting at anchor and you wanna charge the batteries, you can't just turn the key and throw it into gear and rev it up to 2000 RPMs. It's not an ideal situation. So that's where I'm stuck. When I ordered this, it said one wire or three wire. It says it on the box. This is a 150 amp alternator, which is much bigger than the one I have on. And when I placed the order, I read the thing. It said 150, 150 amp, one wire or three wire. When you open it up, the first thing you see at the top is this piece of paper, which says, your Power Master alternator is designed to work with one wire without any connections to the plug. The function of the plug is to run a idiot light. This plug also does not serve as a hookup point for voltmeter or help charging at idle. So, I don't know where I'm at. It's supposed to be a one wire or three wire, but then they have that in the top of the box. If you have to rev this up to 1200 RPMs before it starts charging, that's worthless to me on this boat. Um, so that's where I'm stuck and it was kind of hesitant on, on doing it anyway. Um, now I know on some farm equipment in the past we've hooked up these alternators and we wire the side with a 12 volt wire so that it does start charging at idle. But that paper's telling me that this one doesn't work. I don't know, I'm gonna have to research a little bit anymore. If anybody has one of the power master alternators, hey, let me know what will how yours is gone. Um, so yeah, since the other alternator is brand new, I did want to keep it as a backup. But like I said, I don't want to install this alternator if the only time it's going to charge is if you rev it up the way these throttle systems work the only way to rev this motor is to open the engine compartment take it literally take the throttle off of the carburetor and then work it because it's hooked it to the shifter it will not move unless you shift into gear so like i said there's there's no way i'm going through all that so yeah i'm still kind of stuck on this got to figure this out but Basically, just wanted to do a little update say I'm still busy. I don't know what's going on. My original plan was to have this boat done by July. And then when it slowed down, I was going to go out and go ahead and hit the water. This year, like I said, it's crazy. Between materials and building and, and everything that's going on, I've been saving and putting away. I'm afraid because of past situations, what we've seen is next year is probably going to suck horribly for me. Um, so that's why I have been saving and working so hard. If it does, that's a plus. We get through winter. When I get to spring, spring is going to be busy regardless of what's going on. Just because of the way things work. After that, it may be super slow and I may be able to take the rest of the year and go cruise. Kind of hope that's the case. Um, but we'll see. But for now, I just, you know, had to go ahead and, and, and give it up. But, uh. It's kind of cool because it's given me a little more time. I was able to do the aft enclosure part, and I've been thinking about some other little things here and there. But I'm, I'm sure, like everybody else, I'm not, none of our plans this year have stuck together. But So, yeah, that's where we're at now. I don't know what kind of videos I'll be doing. Maybe if the video's coming up, we'll probably, when it slows down, I'm probably going to go do some more wildlife stuff, some more creeks and river stuff. But, uh yeah, that's where we are now. Hope hope everybody's doing well, and thanks for watching. Yep, yeah, that kind of day. Went to walk through the door, and the box popped open. No electrical fittings down in my drain. I have to get out. Ah, fun stuff. <laughs>